arrived at the airport. We're going to California because I have a lacrosse tournament. My games start Saturday and Sunday, and then on Friday I have like a recruiting, uh, like a showcase. So there's a lot of college coaches there that I'm gonna play and then they'll watch. So it's really fun, we're in line for security right now. Okay, so funny story, they told us we didn't have to check my lacrosse sticks because they were, like we could just carry them on since they were in a box and stuff. But then when we got to security, like put all of our stuff on the conveyor belt to go through the x-ray, they were like, oh, you like have to check those because they're sticks. So it's dumb, so now, I just have all of my stuff and my mom's stuff and she's who knows where and I just have to sit here and wait for her and she doesn't have her phone or anything because we'd already put it through the x-ray so hopefully we can find each other but it's gonna be a while because security lines are getting really long so I'm just gonna sit here by myself for like 30 minutes <laughs> to our gate we're in a14 and our flight leaves in an hour so we're just gonna chill here and my mom's gonna try and get us moved up to the front of the plane kind of so that we have a window seat because i like looking out the window while i fly it makes me not as sick might go get a drink at starbucks because i'm kind of hungry i don't know we'll see okay. at the bottom of the jetway for me okay my friend okay we're off to board our plane we're checking our bags so we could move up to the seats that my mom got us. So we don't have to carry them on with us, which is nice. We finally got off the plane. We got here at like nine, no, 10.50. So we got here like, 20 minutes earlier than we were supposed to, which was nice. But I am like super sick. I almost like threw up on the plane. It was really bad. But now we're gonna go get my sticks and our bags because we had to check them. Hopefully the sticks aren't broken because I don't know what we would do if that happened. It'd be so bad. <laughs> so we found my sticks. They were in like the oversized baggage claim. So we were sitting like waiting at the little carousel thing for so long, waiting for my sticks to come out and they never came out. <laughs> but then we were asking and we were like looking over all the piles of stuff they had and we couldn't find my sticks in the piles. And then we just asked them and they were like hidden somewhere behind everything. So thank goodness we found them. I just hope none of them are broken. So we just got our rental car and now we're heading to my aunt and uncle's house. We're having dinner there tonight. But this whole process has taken forever and I'm starving. We so. landed at 11 and it's 12.42. Yeah. Well, we landed at 10.50 and then we waited for my bags and then we had to go get on the shuttle and that took forever. Then we sat in a hotel like waiting for our cars for like an hour almost and it super annoying but now we're off you remember i asked you to meet in the middle now i'm here all alone again this car that we got is so new that like all the plastic is still on it and it only has 31 miles on it from them like probably driving it into the it's green she has to pay attention instead of pulling plastic off this new car. But we're heading to the Hollywood Walk of Fame with all the like stars on the ground, so that'll be fun. Okay, after a lot of driving, a few wrong turns, we made it to the stars. Super fun. Hollywood Burger. We were just walking down the street and we were both hungry, so we saw this place and we stopped here. It looks really good. I got I got a bacon cheeseburger, my mom just got the regular, then we got some sweet potato fries and they look super good. We just drove like two and a half hours to get to my Aunt Elisa and Uncle Kevin's house. We're staying here tonight because we didn't have the Airbnb for tonight because we didn't plan on coming right now originally, but we're gonna have dinner here and all that stuff, but the drive was really long because there was lots of traffic, but it was fun. We just listened to music the whole way, so made a little dent in my 24 hour playlist. Okay, I'm. it's like 8.04 right now, but it feels like 9.04 to me because it's an hour later in Utah, and I'm so tired, even though I literally took like a two hour nap on the car right here. So I'm gonna go to bed because I have to wake up early because the recruiting showcase is tomorrow. 
starts at 12 and it goes all the way to four. So it's a four hour thing. And then I might be trying out for an, the Mexico national team after that. So I'm gonna have a long day. So I'm gonna get some rest. See you guys tomorrow. Okay, welcome to vlog day two. We are headed to the recruiting showcase right now. We just stopped at Walmart to get like some protein bars and Gatorade drinks. So I have hydration throughout the day because I'm playing lacrosse for four hours today and then I might play tonight, we don't know yet. And then tomorrow I have three games and then Sunday I'll have like four or something. So it's a lot of lacrosse, but it's kind of nice weather for lacrosse. It's like 50 degrees outside right now. So that's like perfect weather because it's not too hot. So I won't be like dying the whole time. So we're excited. Now we just have like a two hour drive ahead of us to get to the fields. We made it to the field. We have to walk like, I don't know, really far to get to the tents where we have to check in because the parking lot's far away. And then, so all the parking lots are like on the outside and then the fields are all in the center. So it's a far walk anywhere we go, but super excited. Okay, so it's currently like 3.16. And I just finished, we had like the warm up and then the group training. And then we like did practices with just our team that we're playing with. And then we had one game that was super fun. I scored one point. We didn't score that many points as a whole team, but I scored one of them, which was fun. Now we're just waiting another like 20 minutes until my next game and then we're done for the day. But it's been super fun. All the coaches are super nice and all the girls on my team are super nice. And I didn't know any of them before this. It was just kind of like a team they threw together. So it's been really fun. So we just went to our house and I got changed and stuff. But we're going to the chiropractor because my back hurts so bad like I can barely walk. So that's where we're headed right now. It's kind of in a weird, like it's in a travel center or something. I don't know, it's a little sketchy, but hopefully it's good because I need it so bad. Okay, it's like it's seven o'clock now and we came to this restaurant called Enzo's. We were gonna go to this different place that was a lot closer to our hotel, but then it was like a 20 minute wait and I did not want to wait that long because I want to go to bed. So then we came to this place and it's really good. We got seated in the bar because I did like we didn't make a reservation before, so now we're in the bar, which is fun. Never been in a bar before. But we got our, we're waiting for our food. I got like a spinach ravioli thing and my mom got chicken pasta. So it's gonna be good, we're excited. Okay, we just got back from dinner. Now we're just watching a movie it's called The Family Switch. It's kind of cheesy, but it's good. We're eating some popcorn too. And that's all we're gonna do today. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Okay, good morning. It's currently 5.50 in the morning. We woke up at 5.25 to get ready. Now we're just headed to the fields because I have to be there by 6.30. And the parking is super far away, so it takes like 30 minutes to walk to the field I'm supposed to get to. So we had to wake up so early to get there. But we're excited and I have three games today, so hopefully they all go well. So we were just walking around for like 15 minutes trying to find a way to get from the parking lot into the fields, but like all of the gates were locked. Which was dumb because now I'm going to be late to my field. But we finally found the spot to get in. So now we just have a really, really, really long walk to my fields. Okay, we just finished all three games. It's currently 12.39. So we're going home pretty early. We just went to the, like, it's called the Lax Mall. So there's a lot of stores there and everything. I got, super loud. I got a super cute quarter zip jacket that says lacrosse on it. And then I got this cute beach ball for free. Now we're just walking the 10 miles back to our car. It's very hard. My calves are like cramping up because I'm so sore. Should have conditioned more, but it's okay. And then we're just gonna go back to the thing. I'm gonna shower and get ready. Then we'll go exploring into dinner. So we were heading to the mall to go shopping, but then we saw this cute little street fair on the side. So we stopped there. So hopefully we'll find some cute stuff because it looks super fun. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so then we went to the mall and we went to Barnes and Nobles. We didn't get anything. We almost got a cookbook, but we didn't like the recipes. And then we came and got pizza from Sabaro or however you say it. I got a spinach and cheese um, stromboli and my mom got pizza. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. So then we're gonna go get ice cream, maybe go to a movie and then we'll have dinner. So kind of a lot of food today, but it's good because I'm super hungry. Okay, we got our frozen yogurt. Mine, I don't even know. I just put literally everything in here, so it's probably gonna be kind of weird, but it's okay. I'm excited. 
and they got a little frog. His name is Jerry. We're headed to dinner. We're going to a place called Wava Grill or Wava, I don't know how to say it, but it sounds really yummy. It's like teriyaki bowls and stuff. It's really close, which is nice because last night we drove really far for dinner and then it wasn't even that good. So we're excited. We just finished watching The Glass Onion because we've both seen Knives Out, so that was really good. <laughs> Probably watch a movie after dinner too because it's only 7.03. But I have another game at 7.30 in the morning tomorrow, which means I have to get there at 6.30. So we have to leave our apartment at 5.45, which is super annoying, but <laughs> thumbs down. Okay, we got our food. We got, we both got wobble bowls, which is like chicken and steak with veggies and then rice. And then it has like a special wobble sauce on it. it. Looks really good. Is it good, mom? I don't know. She had a bite, but she still doesn't know if it's good. We'll see. We have the early 7.30 game again, so we have to get here at 6.30, and it's actually a lot warmer than it was yesterday. Yesterday it was super cold, today is 6 degrees warmer, so I'm not even cold right now. I'm just wearing pajamas, and we're heading to the field, and it's a lot closer than it was yesterday. We parked in a different lot, and our games are on different fields, so we're not walking five miles to get to the fields again. The sunset is sunrise. Sunrise is really pretty. Okay, we just finished our first game. We won by two points. It was five to three, and I scored three of the goals, which was fun. One of them was like the last goal of the game. We scored right as the time went off, which was fun. Um, our next game is at 10, and then that's our last game for the day since we're in the loser's bracket, because we only won one game yesterday. But we're gonna win the next game too, so it'll be fun. We just drove like half an hour to this house called the Kaufman House and it's a famous person's house, which is kind of cool. And then we're gonna just walk around here to other houses that are famous and we'll get dinner here probably. It's really nice outside and yeah, I took a nap all the way here because I'm so tired. So hopefully I'm able to stay awake for the rest of the day for everything we need to do. three of them all at the same time and it hurts so bad but now it's like just a little bit but it's working really well it's kind of fun candy on the bottom and then salted caramel on top. I got coconut pineapple and death by chocolate. It's actually really good and it's like stretchy ice cream because it's handmade so it's so yummy. Stretchy ice cream? That's weird. It's a thing. So we're at dinner at this place called Maracas. It's a Mexican food and it looks so good. I got some steak nachos my mom got. Did you get the piquitas mom? Yeah. She got piquitas. We have little chips and salsa, but the salsa is really, really spicy, so I can't really eat it. But we've just been walking around downtown Palm Springs today, which was really fun. We went to a lot of stores and got stuff for all of my siblings, which they love. So our food came, and I hate spicy things, and there is like a crap ton of jalapenos on my food. So I have to take them off and just hope the spiciness did not wear off because I can't handle spice, like at all. We're heading back to the little room now that we're staying in and then we're gonna probably just watch movies for the rest of the night and then go to bed. So, because we have to wake up early tomorrow to get on our flight. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to the last day of the vlog. 
flying home today and this morning I woke up with a rash on my face just like the one I got last time we were in California and so we were thinking about like what the things that could have affected it we were thinking we had Mexican food the night before each time it happened so I think we're I'm allergic to Mexican food like something in it which is annoying because Mexican food is so good <sighs> anyways today we already started driving and then we got acai bowls well, we were going to get acai bowls, but they were out of all the toppings for on it, so we just got smoothies. And now I'm walking to the donut shop because I low-key want a donut. So we'll see what they have because they look good. I got the goods. We got one ginormous apple fritter. It's literally, like, huge. So me and my mom are going to share that. She doesn't know that yet, but I didn't tell her I was leaving to the donut shop. I just left and then hoped she didn't care because the donut shop and acai place are really close. Hopefully our smoothies are done because they look so yummy. snowing here so our drive home is going to be nice and smooth no danger on the roads which is good we just met our grandparents well my grandparents her parents at the terminal because they're leaving to the grand cayman right now and so we got their keys we're gonna drive their car back for them which works out really well okay we just got home a few hours ago we had dinner said all of our hellos hello <laughs> and hugs yeah, it's super, yeah. super cold here. It's like 29 degrees and there's snow everywhere and it's so annoying compared to California, but it'll be fun. Conditioning for lacrosse starts tomorrow, so we're just getting right back into the flow. It's gonna be fun. See you guys in the next video.